Hey guys, it's Beer now. Welcome back to Rayman 3. In the last part, we went through the, what, the Fairy Council? Was that the level? There we go. And now we're in, clearly, Forest. Also, by the way, here's the thing. Uh, on the poor screen, you can go to any of the old levels, um, play it through again for a better score. You see the little sad Murphy face? Basically, uh, every level has a Murphy score, and basically, if you pass that, you get a little happy Murphy stamp. Will we get one of those? Oh, you see that? You know how to land on it. Alright, so anyway, we'll just jump straight into some actual action. Now, when I say this game's a bit of a beat em up, it's a beat em up mixed with a shmup. You'll see me get hit a little bit. <laughs> but it's actually, it's kind of interesting. You, you're basically dodging your enemy attacks while trying to hit them yourself. So that's why I say it's a bit of a shmup because that's generally a shmup thing. Uh. But now we've got a little bit of an interesting thing. We've got a thing up here. A little spinny mushroom thing. I'm gonna keep saying thing until it gets very, very annoying. Um, but we'll press that button and it raises the platform up so that we can land in the little heat laser thing. We're gonna do some, uh... I don't know, what game introduced this? As I said last part, I played Tomb Raider 3 and that had this, so... It's not very nice. Uh, and now we're going to be introduced to another mechanic of the game, uh, freeing the teensies. Basically one of the only things that... Thanks, big nose. Look what I swiped from the hoodlums. The hoodlums. Basically one of... The yeah, one of the only things that really ties this game with, uh, the previous game. You're all about freeing the, the teensies. Um... And if you saw the little thingo at the beginning, um, like, as soon as I freed him, basically, uh, freeing six of them will give you a thing. We'll find out that thing a bit later. Um, now, of course, I'm not gonna get all the teensies. Also, you see this little, little thing. A little thing there as well. So we're going forward a bit. Oh. Glowbox, you're screaming. Huh. Dun dun dun! So now we got a little bit more fighting. Where's the fighting? You get a hundred points for defeating those guys. They're a bit more worthwhile. There we go. Nice charge shot. And now we've got the red one! What does the red one do? The music's still playing. I've ruined it. You don't actually need the red power to free this guy, you could free him anyway. But it gives you a lot of gems. It's always good. Now if Glowbox will move out of the way, we'll show off what these ones do. These ones basically give you power punches. Which basically makes you able to destroy these piggy banks without charging. Because you had to charge before. And, uh, you also can break down those wooden gates. Uh, it runs out a bit faster than the green one though. You'll notice each one has a time limit on them. And I believe the green one would be the second longest. This one would be about in the middle. There's five of them in the game, by the way. And I skip that one. We don't need no loading screen. We can go straight into the next area. I, by the way, here's a fun thing you can do. You can hit the glow box and it'll say some funny things sometimes. You're really starting to get on my nerves! <laughs> if you hit him enough times, that happens. Just because you're on TV doesn't mean you have to show off. I don't deserve this abuse. You better look out or we're going to be sent to this. It's bad enough that I'm fucking naked. <laughs> you got no There's some, some pretty good lines in there. And soon you'll have no hair. Hey, I'm not a switch. Ow! Just because you're on TV doesn't mean you have to show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is saying stuff again. So anyway, hopefully now we'll get into the bit of the bit of the not the the but a bit more beef in the game. Um so I won't be freeing all the teensies mainly because it's a little bit tricky to figure out where they are. Oh jeez, I nearly missed that one. By the way, the hoodlums can friendly fire each other if they if you aim it right. And in general, they'll block shots from the front, so that means you do have to do the the um 
the the side attack. Oh, did that not hit him? Here goes the charge. I didn't quite do it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so that was alright. Now, I won't... I, I don't know if I'll be getting through this level in one episode. Probably not. Probably not. But we'll, we'll try. Ish. We'll, we'll make a bit of progress each part. Now, am I expecting... This game is not a terribly long game. By the way, as soon as you get up here... Ooh, ooh, ooh. And now we're getting to uh, this gimmick of this uh, level. Is that Glowbox is allergic to plum juice, but for some odd reason it gives him superpowers. So we are swimming up a waterfall by smashing X. As you can hear, you have to hit it quite a bit, but you don't. It's, like I'm slowing down. That's you can hear that. Like, that's good enough. It's it's not it's not too bad. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of interesting, I guess. By the way, the the level score percentage, it, you don't have to get 100% every single level in order to get um, the Murphy score, because 100% is not flat out the maximum number of points you can get in the area. It's a lot of points, but it's not the maximum. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Now, that being said, uh, getting 100% is vital in every single level if you're going for a certain achievement that I looked up on the Xbox 360 version that requires you to get 100% in every single level. I don't know if you can split it up so you can get 100% in a level and then maybe not get 100% in the other levels, but then when you retry, you don't get 100% in that first level, but you get it in the rest. I don't know if that counts. Because I don't know in the Xbox 360 version, guys. We don't need no achievements, we just beat the game. This guy's kind of napping. And that, now they're onto me. So this level is mostly just kind of beat up the hoodlum thing with a bit of a glow box gimmick in the middle. But it also gets us introduced to the other, th to three of the four other power-ups. I actually got that guy nose. Um, so now we got back to the green one. Now here's the interesting thing, of course. This actually rebounds. Uh, with the green power, the, the tornado gauntlets or whatever. I, I'll call the red one the power club. Zzz, power clubs. Uh, the tornado gauntlets actually rebound off uh, other things, which is pretty neat. I... I will say so. Uh, so yeah. So hopefully now, the, um, the gist of the game is kind of coming through. It's, uh... Not every level is, uh... Every level is a bit different. Let's just say. So this one's a bit more, uh, fighty. Generally, if an enemy is, like, moving, it's a bit harder to hit. Uh, one thing I like about this game is that the combat is a lot more fulfilling than um Rayman 2 because in Rayman 2 it was kind of like you had about the same ability to hit your enemies as they did to you strafing was not the easiest thing it, it's not the easiest thing to hit your enemies uh, I believe that is the way to continue mainly because Glowbox is making a huge run teleport <laughs> There we go. Here's another one of his superpowers. He, uh... Comes a balloon. So I don't know why, despite being allergic, it seems to be... Uh, I'm gonna go down here because... It's up this ledge, and I probably should have gone across as opposed to dropping down, because I'm smart. Yeah! Dude, I told you I'm smart. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> That's, uh, that sounds so jerkish. 
I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so moral of the story is this one ah oh, the the worst part is i i would have totally made it um yeah the worst part about like those wooden gates is that you have to charge a shot with the red it's it's not enough how about we charge a shot when we get closer to it there we go There we go. There's a little teensy in here. So, so for the most part, most of the teensies are hidden away. We we'll got the 1500. I didn't, yeah, with the double, but stuff is not like I'm going for points. Uh, I believe you do need a lot of points. Also, I like how there's a shadow. That's nice. Um, I do believe you need a lot of points in order to get the very last bonus game. But for the most part, I think I got like all the rest. Just, uh, without really trying too hard, so. So we got a little ladder here. Of course we got a nice little waterfall, also one of those things. Can I just drop down on it? Nah, I scared him! Ah! Yeah, so if you, if you scare them, they don't come back, you miss out on points, it's like, oh. But again, I'm not worried about points. Even when I keep saying it, and uh, there's a lot of games I play. I'm actually playing through a Fire Emblem Awakening. I'm a terrible person. I had not played through it um, when I bought it, and that that's why I'm playing Tomb Raider or the old Tomb Raiders because it's just like, yeah, you got I got knockoff games on my backlog um, without really like doing a blind let's play like every so often. <laughs> and you may be wondering, why don't you stream it? I'm like, Telstra, it's one megabit a second up. I can't. This, yeah, thanks, Telstra. Anyway, we got another Teensy. Now, this one gives us the uh, third ability we're going to get, which is. I gotta go finish my yoga. <laughs> Here we go. You ready for it? Here it goes. They're all kind of gloves. I'm gonna call this one the uh, the Zappy Clamp because it allows you to swing. It's also kind of interesting because uh, it damages enemies differently. In fact, all all of the um all of the powers kind of damage enemies differently. This one lasts the longest out of all of them. So if you're locked on, you actually hook onto them, and then you can constantly. Uh, I keep hitting L1. It's a terrible habit of mine. Um. Because I don't think you really need to play, like, press L1 in this game, just... Use the stick and that's it. I... I wonder at what point did games, like, stop letting you use the D-pad to control? You know, like, I, I understand the original PlayStation is like, yeah, not everyone had the DualShock controller. So, of course, not everyone would use that, but, uh... I... Oh, let's get that thing again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, this game, and quite a few other games I've played, it's just like, you can't play it without the Jewel Shock, or without the analog stick. Uh -huh. Even can't do this. Oh, yeah, there he goes. And... <laughs> He's a little, a little weird. I'm trying to jump up here. There we go. And then we'll get these before the thing runs out. There we go. Get out of the way, Glowbox. <laughs> I love how Glowbox even just runs away in each fight. You can also kick them, so you get your combos a bit nicer. So yeah, I think you get more combo by hitting enemies. More combo time, that is. Not more combo points, but... Uh, so we got some nice little interesting-ish areas that we're going to. Ow, get out of there. Uh, of course, 
And and this is this is why I think the game's a bit more beat 'em up y because there's a lot of a uh, there's a lot of kind of just these areas where you fight. Ow! Dang it! By the way, you see that you really don't lose a lot of health. Like, and, and in fact, we're about to um, uh, run five. A little bit premature there, but all right. This guy drops down on a red power. So the interesting about the game, uh, the interesting thing about the game is that it's also, also I like how they spawn more enemies in, and you just with a bit of a blur. I may have not done that right. Uh, the lungs look a little different in this game as well. It's a little weird. But when you get hit, it's like... And in the cutscenes, it's uh, the old kind of ball with wings model as opposed to kind of a glowy orb. So, yeah. So, hopefully now you can kind of see by the level design that the, this game is a bit more of a beat-em-up than you'd expect. Because uh, it's got, you know, the little, like, yeah, excellent! It's got points for combat. It's got the power-ups. It's got these areas that seem more designed around going around hitting tons of enemies. Although, mostly, like, it's not like it's too hard to... to f okay. So anyway, so grab the plum. Here's a little, uh, returning element, quote-unquote. Basically, you can pick up a plum, chuck it on a stick, it's a lot more responsive than in the second game. Again, everyone, everyone like cherishes Rayman 2, and I'm like, there's a lot of problems with it that are, are addressed in this one. Wow, my Wii U just like popped up and it was like, yeah, Zelda Twilight Princess HD, woo! Because I'm currently recording this on the 6th of March, so I guess that just came out. Maybe not just the second, but yeah. Anyway. This guy's a little bit interesting because his shots, I believe, move faster. And here we are, yet another power. <laughs> you may be going like, "Ooh, man, all these powers." Now, this is the shortest power, and actually, you can see like by by the ability, uh, by the text, it's like, yeah, it's supposed to be a thing. But uh, but uh, anyway, so let's. Use the power. The, this power is a bit interesting because, you know, you don't really use it in general. It's basically a guided uh, rocket launcher. Which is quite in, quite interesting. Um, it reminds me of the of the flying shell parts in uh, Rayman 2. You got freaking Andre laughing at you the whole time. What I think is kind of interesting is that because Andre is in... Glowbox's stomach, you kind of hear him for a lot of the, uh, this level at least. He's, he's around in this level, and the next level maybe not, but one after that, yeah, sure. Uh, so, yeah, so we just kind of shoot this around. Now, as we're firing, you'll see that the timer goes down. This is, this is actually kind of tricky, because it goes very fast. I can't even slow down. Oh, 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 hey, there we go. I just want to do that. That's good. Let's see if we can get the... Can we get the next dude? You may be wondering, how do you use this in combat? And the answer is not, because if you see, if I stand off the thing, it goes down so fast. But they were nice enough to drop the red one, which means we can beat up all of these, get a ridiculous combo going on. Which is which is all good for the for those points. Um, now the game was kind of planned around getting five hundred thousand, but people have gotten like ridiculous amounts um, by being I don't know by by through glitches I think. Now of course I'm not going to get anywhere near five hundred thousand. I only got like twenty thousand on the first level. Give him the kick. Excellent. So there's some kind of interesting uh, fighting situations going on in a lot of uh, parts of this game. Uh, if we take this green one, and we go up here, and then we go slowly. There we go, I grabbed it, 250. 
It's, it's always good to get those, because just the, the extra 250 points, and if you've got power up, double that, which is nice. So, yeah, so so the uh, Zappy Gr Zappy Clamp, as I'm going to refer to it, and I, I I don't really have a name for the for the rocket glove, or the rocket, I, I just call it the rocket. I hear another one as well, I don't know where it is. Underneath here. Who knows? So now we're gonna fight these guys and we'll go. So it's kind of nice because you only have to get like the initial hit and then, and then uh, you can just kind of zap them. But it's interesting using the different abilities to take down your opponents. Uh, I'm gonna go back and grab another one of the two. There's no real harm if it runs out, but, you know. Th this one lasts a while as well, so I guess it's cool for me to just go around and pick up all this stuff. So you may be wondering, where do we go? And that is a good question, I believe. Not not through there. I'm, guess I'm guessing it's up here. No, nope. it's just Chuck Tester. In that case, it's up here and around. Or even better, it's... This guy has an orange, which is nice. I, I like how they've designed this area because it, it, it uses all the all the powers that we've gotten so far. A barrel! A barrel! Oh yeah, I I now remember. And now here comes the third superpower. Globox coughs up bubbles. Here we go and whap bubbles, whap. I'm grabbing out of the blue because it lasts a long time. And you may be going like, what? Bubbles? And yeah, you jump at them and then you, they pop and they let you bounce up. Yeah. Uh, we've also got some nice little ledges we can jump on. Like this one. There we go. I even grabbed in the combo, that's nice. Uh, I don't know, I feel, I feel like that's it, for really, for this area. Oh! I don't know what it's trying to lock onto, but... Sure. Oh! Oh, is that a Teenty? Oh, mate. Oh mate, I saw Teensy up in there. That, that's a bit cheeky. <laughs> so now we got six, you know what that means? Do you see our health bar going up? That's nice, that's your reward for getting six. The health bar goes up, I believe. I, I want to say there's 60 in the game. I want to say there's 60 Teensies in the game, so that means 10 health upgrades. Will I get them all? Probably not. Yeah. And I... Oh no, it keeps going. So it's weird, like, after playing the first level, because this level has much longer stages. I deck him in the... Oh, nice. <laughs> Catch him off guard take a hit because I'm a little bit dumb. It's, that, it's actually kind of interesting. Um, if you've got the uh, a power up, so it doubles your score, it also doubles the amount you lose. You take two like points off instead of one. Uh, there are, I believe there are 10 teensies in this level. There's a lot of teensies in this level. I, th I think this one has the most. And I've fallen. And Globox is still a bit... <laughs> Globox, you're, you're right there. So you may be wondering, where's the red power-up? Because I'm I'm guessing... Actually, we haven't even gotten the red power-up. We can go all the way back with it, can't we? Yeah. It's 
So we climb across these monkey bars. Straws to see switch. And wha bam! A trap door open way out over there. And uh here's a guy. That was a good combo. So this is yeah, this is this is interesting, because this level's a bit more beat em up-y than really any other level. Every level does something different. Uh, the first level, a bit more of a tutorial. This one, a bit more beam up, because uh, everyone's about the same, like, combat-wise in this level. Um, we'll get into some more interesting, different kind of enemies. So we freed this teensy. What does he give us? He gives us the red power. Are we, are we going through this again? But we did this already. We even did it this episode. What are you talk? What are you all about? Now, I don't know if this is going to last long enough. Nah, it's not. In that case... And and this is just me being a little bit curious, because you saw that there was a gate back there. I jumped on the bubble, hit the bubble. So now I'm thinking, what if we use this? To blow it open. Dang it. <laughs> Alright. Interesting. I, I I wonder how you open that. I don't think it's for a teensy because you'd be hearing them go. Oh yeah. no, that's Raymond too. They go. So anyway, so we'll take this power up, and now the trick is we've got to get all the way to the top. And there's another teensy. Man, that's 8 out of 10. And we're only on the, like, first half of the level. Ah, that's what that's what you do. So it drops one. And this is a bit higher up. Is this enough? Is this enough? I don't think it's enough. Ah, it's not enough. How do you... The only other thing I'm thinking is that you get the, the power up from before, but... Stuff, I, I can do this. I'm just stalling time now. We're like, what, 20 something minutes into the episode? I wasn't expecting this episode to be as long. I was expecting it to be around the 20 minute mark. But I guess, yeah, this, this level is a lot longer than the first level. Yet another, yet another teensy. And he drops one here. This is purely just so you can use it to get up here now. There you go. Anyway, that will be it for this part, for this episode of uh, Rayman 3. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I don't think that was designed for 16 by 9 Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah! So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!